We're at Apex Rising, part two, I guess. Uh, floor two. People who were in that room told me to get out of their face but didn't fight me, and I found Shark Tank on one of the notes as well as more commune stuff. Oh, that's well and good. But we need to explore. Ah, no, go this way. Go. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you going? Bitch. Come over here. I said open this door. There you go. Alright. Look for things to interact with. Apparently, these were individual rooms once that they tore down and made into one room. Rather tastefully, but then there's garbage everywhere, so it defeats the purpose of making these one room instead of many. So. Franz. Like Franz Ferdinand. A group of metahumans huddles together, their eyes wide with terror. Many of them have scrapes and bruises, and a few have more serious injuries. Their clothes are tattered and stained. As you approach, a disheveled-looking and middle-aged man steps forward, placing himself between you and the main group. His gray hair is badly matted, and a pair of battered reading glasses hang from the bridge of his nose. Who are you, may I ask? What are you doing? Uh, either your best friend or your worst nightmare up to you. Now, who are you? Then I would choose to be your friend. My name is Franz. These are my friends and my wife. We live together. Well, we used to live together. Up on the third floor. You used to live upstairs? Yeah, until about a week ago. And the Magnificers pets moved in and we had to run for our lives. Spirits, you mean. You know, it's looking pure misery on his face. They're always summoning the damn things, but last week they lost control of a handful. Before we knew it was happening, they were running wild in our living room. We tried to protect ourselves, but we were no match for them. He shakes his head up, a haunted look in his eyes. We had no choice but to leave everything behind. We've been scraping by down here ever since. Franz takes a moment to collect himself. When he speaks again, he sounds more composed. At least Jan is letting us use her Matrix uplink. We can still afford to feed ourselves thanks to her. Hmm. Uh, if there are uncontrolled spirits loose up there, someone needs to deal with them. Might as well be us. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Please let us know when it's safe to return home. Clear the spirits out of the third floor apartments. I could probably do that. These guys are untalkable. Untalkable? Yeah, untalkable. What does this say? Dandelion Eaters. ABC and Sistar. Okay, then. These guys didn't do anything. I've already been here. Time to go upstairs to the third floor. Go to the third floor. I have four amulets collected. Well, let's kill all the spirits. I only have one drone left, but I guess that's to be expected. There's a spirit. Ugh. Oh, nice. Not that that's actually nice or anything, I mean, that was actually kind of shitty. There. Let's use the shotgun at close range. No crits, sadly. But we should be fine. These things are rogue, rogue elements, so we're good. Now, I don't want to waste... Um, my AOE, but I might have to. And again, maybe I can make it stop work moving. Uh, yeah, this one, if it works. Oh, it did work. I didn't think that would work on a summons. Not that it matters. I'm going to get 8 damage per round now. Shit. Alright, whatever. Sweet. And shoot. I missed. Uh, if you have line of sight there, then my sniper rifle will have line of sight there. Yes. See how that works? Sadly, 
Alright, well, anyway. Um. This isn't gonna miss. Hey, almost dead. Ugh! Sucks. Hit it one more time. There you go. Okay, you've taken some damage. Let's heal you. It's only two hit points, but it's probably worth it. Wonder if the drone can interact with that. Yes, it can. Hell, it can do anything else. <clears throat> I've got little drone arms. Just... Item picked up. Premium med kit. So the drone has it in its inventory, right? I guess. Because drones have inventory. Yes, they do. Oh, there, there's some of them right there. Alright. Well... There are quite a number of them, actually. Hmm. Well, that's not good. No steel flea. You can't do much. You're just a giant puss right now. I had two drones for you, but now only one. There are three of these things. Ow, ow. Yeah. That sucks. Okay. You can snipe, so try it out. 40 damage. There you go. It's gonna hit two targets. It's partial damage to each. But I guess that's fine. And I killed one. Nice. Where are you at? Ah, uh, you're right there. Uh, this is gonna do an AP damage, but... Uh, Don't really use that much. Pinned, cannot move. Alright, there you go. Come on, hit him. That never seems to hit. And her weapon's not that powerful. She auto reloads, that's right. Well, anyway. Um, now my drone is up here. It should take this out nicely. Or it'll just sit there and miss horribly three times in a row. Oh, you missed. How delightful. I didn't even know you had an AoE. There you go. Nice. Now kill it. Can you snipe this thing from here? Most likely. Having three AP is really useful. Especially when you're a sniper. And I have no idea how you got that flanking bonus. Quite frankly, I don't care. Because it's awesome. Ow! You know... A healing spell is revived, is uh, recharged, so I'm going to use it. Too bad my other drone had to die. But that's what you get sometimes. Come on. Optional. Yay. Do I have to report to him? Or... I mean, I will. I'll go back down there. Go to the second floor. Alright, let's go report to this dude. It's a little bit out of our way to do this, but I think it's probably worth it. I'll say, hey look, your apartment is clear. There we go. Talk to this dude. What can I do for you about those spirits? I dealt with the spirits. <laughs> Three karma gained. Optional. Tell the displaced metahumans it's safe to go home. Okay. There aren't many people left to put themselves in danger to help a bunch of strangers. 
fun, everyone. These kids can to make ourselves home safe again. Thank you. You've been so kind. Thank you. I'm glad you finally got to go home again. Yep. Then one reappears and kills them all. But we still have business on the third floor, so... We have to kill all the mages. Go to the third floor. There you go. Your apartment's cleaned out. Actually, um, yeah. There you go. How about, how about that? Hello, my friend. I can't think you never helped me return home. The spirits do quite a number in this place, but it doesn't matter. Thank you. We're back, and we'll have it ship shape in no time. <laughs> I enjoy killing things, even if they aren't technically alive. I just did what any decent person would do. Well, thank you again, and now you forgive me. I must get help to clean up. All the best of you. Please feel free to drop by anytime. Uh, when I didn't check to see if there was anything I could nick. Uh, probably not anymore. If there was anything. He has a vending machine in his house. Oh, it's a fridge. But, you know, it could have been a vending machine. Now I gotta kill some mage dudes. We got company, blast them. It's them. Blast them. Oh, there you go. Control mode. Drone. Oh, it can't even see you. That's lame. Here, go this way. Be my eyes in this corridor, would you? There you go. You're not going to be able to snipe that close, so shotgun him, would ya? Yeah, there you go. Can you target from there? No, you'll have to move up. Shame, too, because that's a waste of an AP. There you go. Now, I'm not sure where I'm going with this. I'm not sure how many people are there. I'm not sure how well I should bunch up or hold back or whatever. Ah, oh, there's something to pick up. Oh, that's right. You kill the mages and you get the amulet. Alright. Uh, send in the drone. Oh. Transition. You know, I'd rather not, but let's do it anyway. Aha. We'll keep him there for now. Steel Fleet's out of commission for a while. But... Hi guys. How ya doing? There's a mage and there's a mage. They both can heal. 27 damage though is a lot to you. Go this way. It's probably best if I target you. Oh, come on, really? Oh, anyway. Uh, now we're all bunched together. And I'd rather not be the focus of an AoE attack. Like I'm about ready to do to these guys. Because it's fun. Here. Beautiful. Nobody has any AP left that I can use. Oh, 25 hit points? That's a bullshit magic. My magic only heals the last damage dealt, and that one does 25. What kind of spell is that? And can I... And can I use it? Aha. There's two AP right there. One more AP. I'll just make a transition again. Haha. -ha. Alright. Okay, you could probably use a shotgun, but I think I'll snipe you. Then I'll use a shotgun blast. There you go. That will help. Nice. There you go. Kick his ass. Um, I don't think healing her is going to make a difference. I don't really have any good spells. And I have. That's an AoE I can run up there within three tiles. One, two, three. If I run here, that's two AP. And then the blast radius. There you go. It's kind. I just wish it was more damaging. Because now he's in the middle of it all. But whatever. And he lost an AP point, so. Excellent. 
18 damage. Damn. I could send the drone out of cover. Doesn't take an AP to transition, if you noticed. As long as he has one AP, he can transition. Yeah, see? And that's kind of cool. Nice. I am breaking the system. I think it's time to snipe you. There you go. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay, who took damage? Well, I did, obviously. Let's see if I can cripple him. Unable to move. Nope. Missed. Bitch. Sucks. You still have one AP. If I can just, uh... Nope. <laughs> Maybe I can do something instructive with this action point, but nope. There you go. That's it. So he's guarding that transition point, as you can see. Which is interesting. Nice. So that's that's a way to keep him distracted. Haha. Let's ignore armor. Yeah. Because that is sweet. Mm -hmm. There you go. Time to pick up all the amulets. Now it becomes my drone. Don't tell me it's stuck in there. I'm not going to be happy if it is. Send this item to your stash. That I can use it right now, anyway. Another spell book. Alright, so we have three spell books. But he can only equip one extra spell, so we'll have to choose. Alright. I hope this drone follows me. I, don't, I hope it's not stuck in there. Looks like it is stuck in there. Damn. Oh, I can deck this. A high-pitched, creaky voice shrieks out of the intercom. Go away! I won't let any spirits in here. You can't hurt me behind my door. No, you can't. I'm not a spirit. What are you talking about? That's exactly what a spirit would say. And then I get in here and it eat my eyes. Suck it right out of my skull. I've seen it happen. You hear a ragged intake of breath and the shrill voice raises in sarcasm and scream. Go, get away from me. Better things to do. If I were a spirit, would I be using the intercom? Uh, I guess I've never heard of a spirit using the intercom before. That's a really good point. Are you here to save me? Uh, no worries. There are any spirits out here, so it's safe to open the door. I'll let you in, but be cool, okay? I mean that. No funny stuff. You have a great deal of fumbling there inside of the door. Finally, the lock. I can't believe that worked. The man waiting there outside the door is wide-eyed and bedraggled. He looks as though he hasn't eaten in weeks. There's almost no flesh on his bones. His beard is long and tangled, and his jacket is smeared with grease. He nearly jumps out of his own skin at the sight of you. Who are you? Are you part of the communion? Have you come to take you back? Please no. I don't want to go back. He spits and claws at the air in front of him, as if fighting off an invisible attacker all the while eyes are locked on you. No, it isn't safe. The spirit's not safe. Calm down. There are no spirits. They're gone. Hallway's empty. Empty? Yes, empty. All is empty without communion. But safe, you say? Is it safe? Is Asgo wide? It's safe. I, I can return to communion? He breaks into a ridiculous grin. I must go now. Yes, communion awaits. Yeah, um, be part of the collective. Be part of the Borg. Resistance is futile. All that good stuff. Alright. Is that a centaur? Dude, this person's into, um, tar furries. Three-headed ones, to be precise. Llama heads. You know what? To each their own. Rack off stumpies. I mean, this person faps to some cool shit sometimes. And then he also faps to some really weird stuff. And then, you know. Uh, send this item to your stash. Yeah. I meant to say kinky. 
and it came out as cool. Now I'm gonna get judged forever. Ugh. Sucks. My drone is still locked up in that area. It sucks. Nothing's here? Seriously? Not even in the bathrooms. Well, I've killed most of the mages. I guess I can go back and turn them in for the 200 credit bounty. Credit. No yen bounty. Uh, will my drone teleport to me when I go downstairs? I hope so. Because I really don't want to lose it. The mission's not over yet. I still gotta get to the basement. Okay, where's my drone? Oh, there it is. Hi, Melvin. Nice to have you back. Let's go to the ground floor. Okay, um... That's all the guys I found. On the third floor. How many of them are there? I collected nine. Uh, I've got a few Magfrit trinkets to sell. <laughs> Nine amulets, 1800 noons in your pocket. Here you go, payment in full. Uh, you look pretty dug out here. How long do you intend to be in the trench? Is there anything I should know about the building before I head inside? Probably seen some burnouts flying around the ground floor. They're all there for the hub, like some kind of church or something. A guy called Parson runs it. Between you and me, they're all batshit crazy and the danger is just nuts. Why well, keep the ground at all? Because a lot of them are rich. They pay a direct load in rent. We redistribute that wealth to the common man. Let's guess, you define yourself as the common man. Do you see a tide around my neck, pal? Do I look like a corporate stooge to you? We are friends of the people when we are the people. Don't you dare question it. Alright. Okay, let's check my objectives. I think I missed something. Find a way into the basement. I hear, here, kill this person. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be on the third floor, right? But I didn't see anybody up there. What's this? No, oh, elevator. I don't think the elevator works. He said he took, they took the parts out, remember? Examine the control panel on decking three. You easily pry the metal casing away from the wall, exposing a mesh of wires and circuitry. After a quick inspection, it becomes clear this elevator is wired to operate around a control chip. The chip is missing. And it looks as though a power cup one has been yanked alongside it. Plug these components. There's no way for the elevator to function. Of course. it's exactly what he said. Um, but I checked the third floor and there's really nothing here. Now the second floor had those people. I said go away. Uh, maybe I could pick a fight with them. Maybe that's the person I need to kill. Uh, go to the second floor again. That's right, because it was behind a deck door. These people. We probably should get the jump on them. Yeah, Janet. Isn't that, isn't that my side quest? No. Kill Trimesiuk is the side quest. I don't see anybody to talk to in here. Only Janet. We already talked to you. Ugh. And you're not offering anything of value to this conversation. Those guys are back. I've already searched everything here and found Shark Tank. The guy must be a fan of the show. And, of course, I, I get it. I get it. It's not part of that. But, yeah, I was just uh, chilling. Alright. Alright. Uh... And I don't see anyone to kill here. Ugh. I'm not a happy man, the fact that I'm getting lost in here. And it, it's not that I'm getting lost. I know exactly where I am, and there's just nothing to do. At all. 
There's no people. There's no one to kill. I thought this would be straightforward. Go up there, get in, and kick someone's ass. I mean, isn't that what it's all about? I was going to help a dude, and and then I don't, I don't have that optional objective that kill this person because this person doesn't exist. It's not anywhere here. Although, maybe it's part of the community on the first floor, which I didn't really inspect that much. Uh, after the third floor rescout, I'll go back to the first floor and see if that's the case. Because it looks like there should be something here. Look how much dark area is here. And look, it's a little bit of, like, area right there. So it really makes me think there's, like, a door here that didn't get rendered or something. See? Or there's a secret passage around here somewhere, because there's also a little bit there. Uh, but I didn't see anything to examine. The game doesn't exactly tell you you have to privately click on pieces of wall. It just uh, shows you with the little hand symbol to inspect. You can inspect this piece of wall. So there's nothing here to inspect. See? At all. Uh, it just makes me think that there should be a secret passage around here somewhere. And there's not. And over here. Uh, it looks like this should probably slide aside. See? There's like lines here. Uh, there's nothing to interact with. So, nothing to do here. You guys are going to judge me. He's into cool three-headed tars, man. <sighs> no, I'm not. I meant to say kinky. God damn it. Yeah, right. Oh, never going to convince you people. <laughs> um, I killed everyone. I already inspected everything in here. And I don't think there's going to be a secret passage in this on this side because there's no giant blank... I mean, there's a spirit thing to inspect, but I didn't need to. Just a pile of skulls, anyway. Yeah. I'll go back to the first floor and talk to that guy to see if you can piss him off and fight him or something. Now, they want to keep those guys there, actually, because they pay rent, so... I've already talked to you. You're always welcome here. Well, alright, fine, but... I'm stuck right here. I don't know what to do. Go to the ground floor. Alright, this is the ground floor. I can inspect the rubble over here. It's like both walls gave way and it took up the roof with them. The entire hallway is blocked. That was probably the stairways to the basement. And... Do, 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 do. Let's go check out the thingy. This guy's dead, it looks like. I hope he just passed out. He's writhing on the ground. There's nobody to interact with. <clears throat> so going in here was a waste of time. The only thing I can think of is to talk to this guy again. And maybe Parson has some clues. Uh, what's the local gang activity? I'm looking for Tremless. Any idea how I could find him? The smile fades from his face. It's a dangerous man, why do you ask? Uh, Merchant asked me to kill him. I don't much care for this idea, so I've got a counterproposal for Tremison. Fair enough. He's almost certainly upstairs, hidden away from the outside world. I wouldn't advise going after him. But if your mind is made up, I suppose I can't change it. Yes, I can tell you how to find him, but I will need something from you in return. Of course you will. Saw that coming. Tell us what you need. A pair of squatters on the second floor ripped the guts out of one of my terminals. They've taken the data jack signal cover, and the terminal will be out of commission until I get it back. A single damaged terminal may not sound like much, but trust me, the entire experience of communism has been dis diminished by the act of vandalism. I believe that I know the squatters responsible. Their leader's name is Janet. She's a decker of some skill. I don't know how she has planned for my parts, but I do know the situation will not stand. I cannot allow the terminal to be damaged, and so you want us to deal with them. Yeah, but not with violence. I want you to talk with them and convince them to bring me back my component. Do this, I'll tell you how to get to Shrimpson, deal? Uh, 
Hey, no violence, you got it. Lie. Sounds straightforward enough. Excellent deal. Recover Parsons terminal parts. Alright. So I guess I did have to talk with this guy. It's okay, I usually talk with everybody anyway with a game like this. Because it's an RPG. And when stuck, talk with everybody at least twice. Yeah. Second floor. Yeah. I figured there was something here. Wait, was it the second floor? No, it was the third floor. No, Janet's on the second floor. She's right here. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be stuck between two areas. That's going to be a conflicting point of view. If it's anything. Parson sent me. He wants his hardware back. No way. Those parts are keeping us online. And not just us, but everyone worth a new in this hole. Parson can keep running his ridiculous little cult just fine with what he's got. But us... What's the only Matrix connection these people have? Intelligence 3. Look, those parts can't be irreplaceable. Let me take a look at your terminal. Maybe we can figure something out. Alright, the terminal's in the back room. Go take a look. But if you try to rip us off, you're going to regret it. Aha. Uh -huh. Hacker's terminal has clearly been cobbled together using whatever parts they could find in spite of this remarkably impressive piece of machinery. So in the terminal... It takes almost no time to identify the components the person sent you to find. Examine the terminal to see if a signal converter can be removed without disabling it. Oh, decking 8. Damn. A, a Blitz had decking 8. But anyway, at the moment it's impossible to remove the parts without disabling the terminal. The converter is required so the signal the terminal sends it can be interpreted by the data jack of the user. Perhaps a more common part can be modified. Optional. Find an impulse transmitter. The converter is a pretty specialized piece of hardware, but the data jack impulse transmitter is a widely available piece of equipment and could be converted to work in its place. Alright. Let's see if we can find one of those. Looks like the part that you borrowed from Parson is acting as your data jack signal converter. I think I can cobble together your placement, but I'll need a signal regulator to modify, and you don't seem to have any spares on hand. Her eyes widen. You could do that. Jerry rig one for us. That'd be amazing. Don't get too excited. We still need the part. I'll bet you could get one from Carl down at the ground floor. No one else around here would have anything like that. She checks herself. Well, except for Parson, of course. He's got more replacement parts he knows what to do with. Alright, I'll see what I can find. I don't mind not fighting people. You get the same amount of karma no matter what. As long as you complete your objectives. Unlike a lot of game systems where like karma would be the good side you know and then there's a different type of karma for bad choices and those currencies are not in, are not interchangeable ah framed picture a blurry picture of janet probably taken superstitious su superstitiously with a cheap pda camera maybe behind the counter looks tired as lids are heavy and his eyes are bloodshot welcome to carlos general store what can i do for you i'm looking for a dad jack impulse transmitter I've got what you need. A thousand. One thousand million, no less. <sighs> Can't you cut me a deal? Why would I do that? Charisma 4. That part's pretty specialized and expensive. Who else is going to need it around here or afford it? I'll give you 500. Fine, 500. There you go. Considering I got 1,800 out of the amulets, I think I'm okay. Nothing for now. I'm glad I have four charisma. Um... I'm also glad I did the uh, ranged combat to give me my third weapon slot. I mean, anyone should do that. Either close combat or ranged combat level 3 just to get your third weapon slot. There's no reason not to do that. And it's 6 karma total. Well, you probably start with level 1. No, actually, you don't. But anyway, um, here we go. Got it right here. Just have to install it. About time someone had some good news around here. Go ahead. Install it right away. And blows up in your face. And poof, game over. Impulse transmitter. Modify the impulse transmitter and replace the signal converter with it. Dad Jack impulse. Item added. Signal converter. After a few minutes of work, the transmitter is modified and installed. You now have the converter and the terminal is still working. No karma for that? Mm, I should report to her. Just to make myself happy. All fixed up. Everybody wins. You get your terminal, and I've got my parts. Mm, thank you. I'm glad I could end without bloodshed. There's been enough of that around here recently. Yeah, sure looks that way. 
What about you again? Anything else to say? No. Nope. It's the same shit. Same shit, different day. SSDD. Sounds like STD. Yeah, I know it does. Oh, I saw a license tag that actually had the letters STD as the first three. And it was on my way to a booty call. So you can imagine I was like, Ew, is that an omen? I don't believe in omens, but it was just one of those remarkable coincidences. Nothing happened bad. Uh, I've recovered the parts for your terminal. Let me see them if you please. He studies the parts, he borrows furs and connection. Something disappears, smile returns. Ah, these parts are what I needed. Thank you, friend. I trust that there was no trouble. That you were able to get them without bloodshed. Of course, we never spill blood when we don't have to. It's wonderful news, truly, truly wonderful. And now I have my end of the deal to uphold. If you're still hellbent on meeting with Triumethius, take the stairs up to the third floor. You'll find an abandoned apartment on the end of the hall. Look for two stylized M paintings on the wall. Looks like two crude lighting bolts facing one another. That's a personal signal. There's an old bookcase at the very back of the apartment under the second shelf from the bottom. You'll find a button that opens the door. How do you know all this? Because that abandoned apartment was once mine. In the days before I discovered the peace of the communion, I was a very different man. I had needs for such contrivances. But not anymore. Finally, I'm at peace. Uh, I don't need anything else. Thank you. Before I made a cult and started to make a fortune off of idiots. Yes. A fool and his money is soon parted. Third floor. And how much you want to bet there's going to be some sort of cross thing going on where I could backstab the dude downstairs, which I really don't want to do. I think I'll just kill her outright. I mean, I don't want to go back to him and say, yeah, I know where she is. I just, you know. Uh, it was right here, wasn't it? No. bookshelf something there you go there you go how you doing I think this is time to well I could go on a rail thin elf wearing a comically ordinate wizard's robe stands at the center of the room when he speaks his voice wavers and cracks so you're the one who's been turning my home upside down. I assume that you come in search of my head at Arctrix's beheads. I would warn you, stranger. You cannot be trusted. It's Berlin, 2054. Trust is so 2053. That may be so, but I'm telling you the truth about Urchin. He may have a use for you now, but as soon as this no longer holds, he will kill you. I would offer you an alternative. What is that he has offered you and your assistance? I'm sure you can reach an equally beneficial arrangement. We need to go downstairs into the basement. All purposes run parallel. To reach the basement, you must use your elevator. You must use the elevator. The stairs will not reach it. There's no other way. When we took care of the el our beaters, I removed the power coupling from the elevator controls. I had to keep Urchin out of his primary armory. In exchange, he removed the elevator control chip. A petty move, presumably, to prevent us from accessing the same armory after he retreated. If you agree to kill him, I'll give you the parts that I removed. Then all you have to do is take the chip off of him's stinking corpse. Trust me, that's the only way you'll ever lay hands on it. Once your usefulness to him runs its course, he will devote all of his strength to crushing you. Honestly, boss, I don't think I believe either of them. Neither do I. Charisaris, I'm offer you further boon for dealing with Urchin as he deserves. Magic item of great inscrutable power that you may call upon spirits at your side. Um... Uh, I made a deal. I'm sticking to it. Now let's get this over with. I think I'd still rather kill you, but don't worry. I'll kill him too. Big mistake. You're going to burn for that. Four enemies. Alright. Oh, they're not bunched together. Ow. I only have 40 hit points, so that ain't good. Alright, well, I'll heal up his wound. His recent wound. I'll AoE these guys. Which should only hit one of. And then... I'll move over here. There's all three of my action points. Activate my one and only drone. He's my one and only friend! Uh, it could suck up some damage if I move it here. 
Uh, there's a healer. You know, I should... RPG 101. Kill the healer first. That's what you do. Now let's get a little closer. And shotgun the shit out of you. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I can run over here and pick that up. I have no other use for my AP. And then... I can run down here. Not really cover, mind you, but, you know, it's something. Okay, your healer is dead. Dude. So, let's see. If I move here, I can get some basics of cover. It's not much, but it's something. You guys have... Oh! Oh, I thought I misclicked. I was pissed. Oh, right, there you go. There's the summoner. Now kill him. Because he just creates ads. Ow! a lot of AP. Yep. Turn on him right away. Just do it. Ow. We do have medkits and shit, so maybe we should probably try to use them. Did I use my own healing item? Yeah, I did. I was gonna die. Uh... Alrighty then. He's got one too, so it's no big deal. Um, he could throw a grenade here at 95% accuracy. Strength based. And a second grenade. Now, should I use magic? I can't. I'm three turns in cooldown. Grenade seems like a good bet. So one of the summoners is almost gone. There. There you go. And if I move over here, no cover, but... Oh, you're out of AP. Of course you are. Uh, he's got some damage. <clears throat> um, if you can survive long enough... Here, use that one AP to get over here. Grab your breath rounds. And then a regular shot. There you go, you're almost dead. I have 3 AP. Let's see, my drone's over here. Let's see if it can kill you. Nope, because it will miss. No! It worked. Now move the drone over here to distract them. Maybe it'll work. He still has an AP point, which is fantastic. Uh, reduce incoming damage by. Wait, what is this? Uh, countermans mana from the surrounding area to provide it an effect similar to medium ley line last three rounds. I don't even know what that means. Oh, like one of these things, I guess. It makes one, and you can stand on it. Um, uh, well, let's try to prevent someone from walking if it works. That's a summons, I get it, but still. Alright. Gave him 3 AP. I lost one. I lost all of my AP. Which is bad news. Oh, automatic use. Okay, great. Uh, drone. Well, all things considered, the drone's got great line of sight right now. And it missed two of the three shots. Now I have a shotgun at the ready. Oh. Alright. There goes all the AP. I kind of like to get up and close and personal with you. There you go. Find the power coupling. There's the amulet. There's uh, another amulet. There's another amulet. That wasn't too horrible, but it could have been better. We used our revives. Spellbook, obviously. I don't even need these spellbooks. I could sell them. You know, it's no big deal. 83 bucks. 
I love it. Now, if I have to fight him too, I might as well heal everybody before I go back down there with some med kits that we're not using at the moment. Okay, there we go. Locker. Oh, look, a revive. Nice. Cram. I don't even want cram. I like the medical supplies. Uh, can I swap? Send this item to your inventory. Let's confirm. Okay, yeah. Okay, you click on that, and that's how you do it. There's some Nuyen. Alright, let's check out the inventory. And I have a level 3 med kit. I'm not sure I want to use it. Yes, I do. Because that just gives you all of the hit points. Yes. I see this amulet. Don't worry. I'm going to get it. First collect the bounty before you report this guy is dead. Yeah, you can't trust either one of these guys, so I'm just going to kill everybody and sort it out. There you go. Maybe you could have trusted one of the two. Maybe you couldn't have. <sighs> well, before we get too cozy... I did use one of my level 3 med kits. Um, you have a level 1 med kit, which is probably useful to use on you. It's not much, it's not many hit points, but it'll help. Level 1 med kits are almost not worth the time to use, but no, they can still keep you alive. I have wasted two revive items. I have one revive item left. Go to the ground floor. Sorry for lying to you and telling you I was just going to do a counter offer. It's time to do the front exit. And what will this grandiose thing have in store for me? Find out next episode. I'll see you then. <laughs>